guys so today I'm doing a get ready with me like a chit chat get ready with me and yes I know I don't have any makeup on right now but yeah <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you guys instead of doing like a voiceover <clears throat> and for today's eye look I'm gonna be doing my modern renaissance red cut crease look so yeah I hope you guys enjoy okay before we get started um, first of all if you want to see a tutorial on this hair just go ahead and comment down below because it's really simple and I love this hair <laughs> okay but if you see <laughs> this peep out through any one of my uh, through any of today's video just know I got a spider bite and I had to draw a circle around it because it's getting big it's gotten bigger within the past few days it keeps getting bigger and it hurts really bad so yes if you see that I had to wear like a shirt that would cover it but if you see that just ignore it I'll be okay <laughs> focus 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 okay so I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how I do my eyebrows I know the reason why I never show how I do my oh my god my camera zooming my camera zooming um the reason why I never show how I do my eyebrows is because my eyebrows are like one of my biggest insecurities I know that sounds like such like a like why thing but oh my god why why I'm not touching my camera it just zooms it just zooms should be good um the reason why I don't like my eyebrows is just because like I've always just had thick eyebrows <laughs> I used to have a unibrow before I knew what waxing was but I oh I've just grown up with thick eyebrows and I also oh the baby I can't talk I always used to get made fun of for it so now that thick eyebrows are a trend I'm like what but it's like now my eyebrows aren't thick enough and I'm like I'm just gonna keep them how I want to keep them like this and just hope for the best <laughs> so right now I'm just oh by the way this is gonna be a long video sit tight <laughs> um, but right now I'm just like combing through my eyebrows with a spoolie brush and what I used to do my eyebrows I was using the dip brow by Anastasia but I just felt like that was too harsh because I already have thick eyebrows in the first place so I'm using this L'Oreal brow definer in brunette it's like a little stick. The only thing I hate about this is like, I go through it within two weeks and it's $7.99. Like, can I just get like this whole thing just full of product? Because like, I go through it so fast. Okay, so what I do is I just do hair-like strokes. Little tiny hair-like strokes. And do not, like if you're trying to get like those Instagram brows, I want to have those so bad, but I don't know how they do it, and every, um, what do you call it, video I watch, I try and follow it, and it's like, I can't do it. <laughs> I think it's just because I have thick eyebrows, and like, those girls don't have any, like, eyebrows, or they have really thin ones. Um, so I'm just doing, like, really, really small hair-like strokes. Oh, shit. Sometimes you just... You just mess up. Sometimes the hair like stroke is way too far in. And honestly, I'm just following my natural brow shape. Did I just break it? Oh. See, like, this is why I can't have nice things. But yes, I'm just going to speed through this on both eyebrows because it's the same thing on both. Okay, so I'm done filling them in. I know, they're not the best at all. I know. <clears throat> but I'm just going to brush out the product so it's not as harsh. I used to really like, like, they look they look blocky right now, but oh my god, I used to freaking literally just do bloop, 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 like a total block. It was crazy. But um, I'm going to be taking my concealer. And I'm going to be 
carving out my eyebrows. And I think she was using this one. I bought three of the wet, I have four actually total wet and wild brushes. Though They're so cute. They're, this, these were 99 cents, like, come on. But I'm gonna be taking this. I don't know what, but it doesn't say like what the brush is called. So it's just this one, like the smaller one, but it's not an angle, it's just a, a straight top. But I'm just going to be putting some concealer on the back of my hands. I don't know what my face was. <laughs> um, and let me just put that down. And I'm just going to be... Ooh, I almost picked up the concealer with the non-brush side. So I'm just going to be taking that and carving out my brows. Honestly, if you're, if you're just trying to get like really not met oh, neat brows there we go that's weird i was like not messy but if you're trying to get like really really neat brows this is the best way to clean them up because i never used to clean up my brows and like i go back and look at pictures and i had like um just like stray product on my eyebrows and it was always just like nah, not the cutest but this like just corrects any mistakes you made and honestly like it's like whoever started doing this is a genius <sighs> sorry go to snapchat um by the way you should follow me on snapchat <laughs> it's down below and so now i'm just going to be taking my finger and just blending that ish out and I'm just going to fast forward this as well because it's just me blowing. It's low-key annoying that this eyebrow is better than this eyebrow. But they're supposed to be uh, sisters, not twins, right? <laughs> um, so, for the eye look, I'm going to be doing this like cut crease, like the red cut crease using the Modern Renaissance palette. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is my baby right now, like. I'm so obsessed with it, so in love with it, it's just amazing, it's just really, like, if you are wanting to splurge on an eyeshadow palette, totally get this, totally, but again, I have that in my Shan XO palette, that was like 11 bucks or something, and that palette's amazing as well, so yes, just... If you're looking to splurge, you get this. If you're looking to save money, get the Shan XO palette. They're not the same at all, but just in like, yeah. So I'm, <laughs> I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk to act as a eyeshadow base. And I am just going to blend this out. Ouch, I'm freaking harsh. <laughs> and I've like used eyeshadow primers before and they're pretty good. It's just like... This was so affordable. This was like, I don't even know honestly how much it is because I've had it forever. And you could, like, it sharpens probably down to here. Like, it's a great eyeshadow base. Really recommend this. Really good. I don't know why it looks like, even in person, it's like blue right now. Promise it's not blue, promise it's white. <laughs> um, and what brush am I gonna be taking? <laughs> um, I'm going to be taking this Morphe brush. It's just a flat top. Just like a synthetic. And I'm <clears throat> going to be taking Tempera. It's like this, just this cream color right here. <sighs> and I'm just going to be just setting my eyeshadow base with that. So nothing glides around. Nothing happens here that I didn't want to happen. Okay, I don't know what this is, like, right here. It's, like, leftover mascara from the night before, but I promise I would take off all my mascara. I don't know. Okay. Now, I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know what it's called. There's no name on it. It's just a <coughs> crease brush. But I'm going to be taking the burnt orange color right there. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid to act as a 
transition shade just so that all the colors just blend seamlessly together and it's gorgeous gorgeous okay so that's pretty good it's really messy because honestly it's fine um also this brush is so soft like i could just like run it across my face all day if i wanted to i don't know why i'm still holding this in my hand but we good <laughs> um now i'm going to be taking dude I, I have so many brushes in here that i'm just like it's so hard to find brushes i need to like separate them somehow but <laughs> oh well um so i'm going to be taking a mixture of eh, four colors in here yes i know so i'm going to be taking love letter which is this pinky red then I'm going to be taking Venetian Red, and then I'm going to be taking Red Ochre and Cypress Umber, 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 I don't know. But I'm just going to be like dipping like Love Letter, Cypress Umber, Venetian Red, and Red Ochre, and then tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to be putting this in my crease. It can be sloppy, it can be really sloppy, it's fine. But I'm just going to be like blending it, or just putting it all over and like, sort of blending it at the same time I'm kind of dragging it on my outer corner kind of not and it's on my inner corner as well so we're just gonna leave the center of our eyelid open if that makes any sense so I'm gonna be doing the same to the <clears throat> I'm still sick by the way I know <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my god but I'm also gonna be doing that to this eye because I don't just want one eye not the same <laughs> But I'm just going to be putting that all over here, avoiding as much as I can the middle of the eyelid. And yes, I know. I know. It looks sloppy as hell. But we're just going to blend out. Oh, by the way, I use the Morphe R41 brush. This brush is amazing. Got in my Morphe Me and... <laughs> If I if this brush ever breaks, I'm totally gonna repurchase it. Like, totally. Um, and then I'm gonna be taking the Morphe R38 to blend the colors all together and make it look more I don't put together, you could say, and not so harsh. Like look at the difference between this eye and then like this eye. Like this eye looks so like ooh pretty, and then this eye's like oh my god. So yes, yeah, so I'm just blend, blend, blend until you can't blend anymore. I was doing my mom's makeup the other day and she was like, gosh, you're so harsh. And I was like, no, I'm not. And then like I did my makeup next and I was like, oh my gosh, I am really harsh. But oh my God. And then I'm going to be taking that same brush that I used to carve out my eyebrows and I'm going to be taking my concealer yet again and this the top just totally flung off give me one sec okay I'm back <laughs> um <clears throat> but I'm going to be taking my Maybelline instant age rewind concealer yet again because this concealer is pretty good I want to try the tarp tarp not tarp tart shape tape concealer but it's always out of stock in my color because i'm like i don't want to go too light and it's like the medium shade they're always just out of stock of so i'm just putting it on the back of my hand and i'm going to be taking that on that brush and let me zoom you in a little bit for this because this can be i'm literally just sitting at the edge of my seat right now um so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just start that line right there and I'm just going to follow all the way into, like, I'm just going to follow my natural crease line, you could say. And honestly, I'm going to be honest. How many times do I say honestly? Um, I am nowhere near the best at this. Like, if you want to see, like someone 
really really snatch a cut crease don't watch me because <laughs> honestly oh my god I need to stop saying honestly because I mess up a lot and I'm not perfect as you can see but we're gonna fix that we are going to fix that and now I'm gonna be taking the other eye by the way I haven't done makeup in like since Thanksgiving and it's Wednesday now so I haven't done makeup in almost a week well I've done makeup I just haven't done like I haven't done eye makeup I just been putting on mascara on my brows so as you can see it's like hella sloppy right now but we're going to fix that by taking our R41 I believe that's what it's called where did this brush go this brush is always the hardest to find, I swear to god. Not it, not it, not it, found it. The R? 41. Yes, the brush I used for my crease. And with the left, I'm not putting any more color on it, but with the leftover color, I'm just going to go over the spots that I don't want to be cut. So, like, as you can see, like, right here, I don't want that to be cut, so I'm going to just be putting that... Same with over here. I don't want this to be cut. Like, it, it went too far over. But, yes. And that's the cut crease right now. But we're gonna... We're going... Oh, my God. We're going to put a color on top of our cut crease. Just so that the cut crease does not crease. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm trying to find a brush right now that's small enough to fit. I could use... I'm sorry, this video is so long. I'm just going to be using this BH Cosmetics flat top brush. But I'm going to be taking um, a mixture of Vermeer and Primavera. Vermeer and Primavera. And I'm just going to be putting that over top of where I cut my crease. And don't worry, I'm gonna be. Like, I don't know how you would say like blending them together, but not blending so much together that the cut crease just gets eliminated. And I'm gonna be taking the R38, the brush I used to blend earlier, and I'm just gonna be like subtly blending together just so it's not that harsh of a line. Peace. <laughs> um. And then, the eyeshadow look for the top is done. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a wing. Hopefully, I haven't done a wing in so long, honestly. Like, I'm so afraid to do this wing. Do I have to do a wing? Do I really have to? Let's just see how it goes. And if worse comes to worse, I'll just take away the wing and do um, just a straight eyeliner. And I'm going to be taking my NYC liquid eyeliner, by the way. Whew, silence. Ooh, that was bad. That's such a downturned wing. What the heck did I just do? Don't worry. Oh my god, that looks like shit. I need to fix it. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get Q-tips so I can fix this ish. Taking my Cocoa Lashes and Queen Bees because I have, I've, I had these like six months ago, right? And I used to be obsessed with them. And then I like started using the Goddess Lashes from Cocoa Lashes and I was like, ooh, these are bomb. And then I started using the Amore Lashes by Cocoa Lashes and I was like, ooh, these are bomb too. And I was like, but they're too similar to the goddess and then I was just one day I just was like you know what I want to go back to the queen bees really quick just to see if I still like them let me tell you 
let me tell you they were amazing and I'm so happy I went back to it because yes and I ordered three more lashes one pair of queen bees can't remember what other lashes I got honestly maybe I got two pairs of queen bees mmm probably honestly why am I saying honestly I don't know but I'm just putting glue my duo dark adhesive lash glue this glue is pretty good um, I like how it's dark so that way when it dries it's not like white because sometimes honest oh my god can I just like forget that the word honestly ever existed like that'd be great <laughs> but though sometimes I forget to put um, uh, eyeliner over top of my eyelash glue and with the white eyelash glue you could totally tell like the band and you could tell oh it was just not not a cute look and for some reason it was like blue on me like duo lash adhesive oh my god why are they like this why are they like this sorry they're like should i just leave them like that they were like not cooperating tame them down a little bit they're they're a little bit too going too high up there why don't we just tame them down aren't they just like do you do, do you just look at them and just like oh my god okay why are they the eyes are done now we're just gonna do my face <laughs> um let me move the camera down just a little i should have done this before Honestly, oh, yep, unsubscribe. I'm subscribed now. Please do. Um, <laughs> so, right now, I'm going to be taking my, actually, I'm going to be taking my Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser from Maybelline, the primer. Why? 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 I hate this camera so much. <laughs> I'm trying to buy one here. And... Okay, see, like, I'm not touching this camera right now. Just not touching it. I have no idea why it zooms. Like, maybe it's because it's... Oh, my God, I put so much on. Do you just, like, instantly regret my right there? Oh, my gosh. My pores... I put so much on. It, my pores are gone. <laughs> Ew. This feels disgusting. Is it, I think it's still, is this a silicone one? I put way too much on because I wasn't paying attention. Ugh, I almost put more on too. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. My face looks red, doesn't it? Trust me, I'm not that red in person. It's just because I've been touching my fresh and my fresh is red in person, but it's not this red. I'm just try talking to you guys right now, trying to get this... Uh, off of my my hands because it feels disgusting absolutely disgusting so I'm gonna be mixing ivory and warm nude from the matte and poreless because ivory is too pink for me but warm nude's too dark for me <sighs> shit that's way too much I need to stop I need to calm down and just put the amount needed not this extra shit like that's way too much Ugh. oh my god I just wasted so much product <laughs> I'm gonna be taking my morphe little beauty sponge this is oh my god there was so much water in there I know you're supposed to keep it damp but Damn, that would have taken off all my makeup. <laughs> I'm literally... Ugh, I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. But, okay. We're going to be mixing the two together on my mixing plate. Mix, 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 m
just going to be putting that all over my face. And what, I, like I was saying, this beauty sponge is good. I don't think it's as good as the actual beauty blender. Just in my opinion, I feel like the beauty blender is softer and easier to blend but I mean everybody has their own opinion yes so I'm gonna be taking the Morphe M439 I have lipstick on it so hopefully that does not go to my face and I'm just going to be blending that puppy out blending. this foundation is honestly someone just take away my vocabulary. Take it out of my vocabulary. Like at this point, like I used to just say honestly, just like, cause it was funny. Now it's like, I, it's, it's become a part of my vocabulary and I don't know how to stop it. How do I fix this? I don't know. Someone help me. <laughs> Now that I look washed out, we're going to add even more stuff to wash this out. I'm going to be taking my Airspan Translucent Powder. I'm so, like, okay, I honestly though... I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Someone please just unsubscribe. I'm just going to be putting this underneath my eyes. My cupid's bow. The bridge of my nose my smile lined because I have those and then <sighs> oh. and then my forehead because I have a really creasy forehead Sorry. but for my lips today I'm going to be taking Colourpop in Bieber let's see Ooh, my lips are so dry <laughs> Ooh, my lips are so dry. I don't think this is going to work, honestly. Okay, does anybody else have this? Like, the, the color of your lip. I just dropped my palette. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like... Mm, I don't know. But honestly, power to, power to the girls that get their lips done because they don't like it. Like, I never under... This is such a long video. I never understand why people always are just like... Criticize people for getting stuff done on their body. Like, if you don't like something on your body and you have the chance to like change it... Why wouldn't you? Like, I, I just don't understand. By the way, I'm going to be taking my Morphe F M F 551 I'm going to be taking my Physician's Formula bron Bronze Booster. I'm just going to be putting this basically all over my face to just bronze up my skin. This is not contouring. Just bronzing up my skin. But back to like 
See, cause okay, this isn't this we're getting deep now. I've never really liked my um, chest area, <laughs> my boobs. So like when I'm older, I really want to get like them done. But I remember I was like telling someone about it, and they're like, "Don't get it done. Don't get it done. Like, that's bad. Don't get it done." And I'm just like, if I'm not happy with something and I could change it, why don't I? You know? Oh, by the way, I'm using my Coco Con. Coco Contour Get by Too Faced. I'm using medium cocoa. I'm not using dark cocoa today. Just medium cocoa. Just to contour my face. Don't worry, I'm going to blend this out. <laughs> Ooh, that looks so bad on camera. I swear it does not look like that. But I'm going to be taking this Morphe brush. I'm just blending everything together so I don't look too glowy. <laughs> not glowy, but like bronzed. And I actually just got these little tiny, are they in here? These little tiny, um, another a knockoff for a tease brush. <laughs> and they're little tiny ones. And I'm going to try and contour my nose. I've never done it before. Is that all you do? Like I've tried doing it, but I've never like successfully done it. <laughs> I bought, I got another one too. I got like this one too. And then I'm just going to be taking light cocoa. I'm just going to be putting that on the bridge of my nose. I think that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> but now I'm just going to be taking any brush. This is probably this Morphe M528. And blending them. I mean, I'm not trying to like snatch my nose because I don't know how to do that. One day I will. Um, I'm just going to fast forward this and uh, yes. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting blush on. I have eyelash glue all over my finger now. It's fine. I'm just going to be taking my Too Faced Love Flush Blush and Love Hangover gonna be putting that on the apples of my cheeks you know just the usual and then I'm going to be taking I literally oh there we go there we go um, I'm gonna be spraying my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm gonna be taking my glow kit from Anastasia in that glow and I'm mixing the two bottom colors this is what I do in every one of my videos <laughs> or every one of my makeup tutorials because it just makes you like really glow like really it's really pretty ooh I love it I'm sorry that this video is such a mess but oh well we'll get past it we'll get past it um so if you enjoyed this video which I understand if you did <laughs> Please like and subscribe and comment down below on video suggestions or just comment down below. I don't know. Just just say hi. <laughs> um, so I'll see you guys on Friday and please follow me on my social medias. And yes. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a good one.